everyone. She was very friendly and like from the get-go. She, she didn't waste time with anyone. A former Indiana University student is being remembered after dying in the downing of the Malaysian Airlines jet. It's a story we're learning more details about today, and it's hitting home in the worst possible way. Yeah, here's the latest we're learning about the crash itself. Among those killed, the State Department confirms one person was an American citizen who has dual citizenship along with the IU student. U.S. officials are focusing on Russian-backed separatists as being responsible for shooting down Malaysia Flight 17. President Obama says the evidence indicates the plane was shot down by a surface-to-air missile. The president says that attack would not have been possible without sophisticated equipment and training, which he says is coming from Russia. Friends at IU, especially those on the close-knit rowing team, are still in shock, finding it hard to believe that their friend was on board that shot down Blasian flight. Today, I talked to a good friend and fellow rower, of, and also Carline's coach, about the impact the 25-year-old left on Bloomington's campus. Like, it's a big IU rowing family, it really is. Today, that IU family is in mourning, missing a fun-loving, outgoing girl with a contagious smile. Caroline Keitzer came to IU from Holland, recruited by the rowing team in 2010. Although she was only on the team one year, she made a lasting impact, and Bloomington made a lasting impact on her. The plan originally was to be in the States for one year and then go back to Holland, and that all changed. When she came here, she just uh, loved IU, loved Bloomington, loved the chemistry department, everything about it. Um, so she was a Hoosier, despite the, the uh, Dutch nationality. Coach Peterson says Carline was home in Amsterdam for the summer visiting family. She was on Malaysia Flight 17 with her boyfriend and another couple, heading on vacation to Indonesia when it was shot down. It's so hard to actually know like what a wonderful person she is. I feel like if you didn't like meet her. Friends and fellow rowers still in shock over the loss of the 25-year-old so full of life will remember Carline as outgoing, positive, funny, and a natural motivator. Carline was due back on campus in just a few weeks, a campus that will be an emptier place without her. She had a lot, a lot, like, going for her. She was, I mean, she was one of the most, like, intelligent person I've known, and I and mean, everything that you can, everything nice you can say about someone, she, she had it for sure. And she made a huge, huge impact on everyone. Rowing team members say it will be an emotional start to the school year and to the rowing season. It's early, but they're talking about ways to pay tribute to Carline and honor her memory. More reaction today on Facebook from one of Carline's former professors, Robert Parter writes, I am sad and angry, angry that I will likely never know what happened and that I can't trust anyone in any position of power anymore, anywhere. My prayers are with those who knew Carline better than I did. I will miss her. Keitzer had a tremendous love for science and was described as a diligent researcher. Fellow chemistry students and professors are stunned and devastated by her sudden death. Derek Thomas has that story. Carlin Keitzer was a fourth-year doctoral student in chemistry here at IU Bloomington. She had a tremendously bright future. That future was shot down by an anti-aircraft missile. She and 298 passengers perished in a Ukrainian field. These are pictures of Keitzer, who was a native of the Netherlands. News spread quickly on the Indiana University campus about her death. It's absolutely horrible. I mean, I can't think of the fact or the people in her lab and her mentor must be completely devastated, especially for somebody so young. I can't imagine. I mean, I'm the same age as her, so I can't imagine having all that being taken away from you after you work so hard to get into graduate school. It would just be horrible. Kaita was working on several research projects, all connected to human health. Dr. David Giedrock talked about her most recent undertaking. She was working on uh, uh, computer simulations, trying to understand how a promising new drug for Alzheimer's disease worked. Uh, and so she was carrying out those calculations, simulations in the lab of my colleague, Professor uh, Mookie Bake. Dr. Bake, seen here with other students, including Keitzer, is in Germany right now. But he issued a statement saying she was a kind, happy young woman, full of ideas about the future. She inspired us all about how science will make the Earth 
a better place. That work on Alzheimer's disease will continue. Keitcher's full impact is yet to be determined. In Bloomington, Derek Thomas, RTV6. And again, Keitzer was running computer simulations on that anti-cancer drug, and it was deemed to be a promising candidate for treating Alzheimer's. And for the very latest on this story, head online to theindychannel.com. There you'll find the latest developments, including more on these two victims with Hoosier Ties.